Welcome back, Deep Divers. You know how this works, right? We get some intriguing source material, and we get to really dig in and see what we can find. Always a treat. So today we're keeping things rolling with our series, uh, Hooked from the First Line. You know, those lines <laughs> that just pull you right in. And this time, we're wading into a real classic. Oh, yeah. Norman McLean's A River Runs Through It. Excellent choice. Love that one. Yeah, and I, I mean, come on, that opening line, right? <laughs> In our family, there was no clear line between religion and fly fishing. Definitely one for the books. Absolutely. So what strikes you about that? You know, thinking about how a first line hooks you as a reader. Well, first off, I mean, just those two ideas together, religion and fly fishing. Right. You don't see that every day. Not every day, no. It's unexpected. You know, it makes you stop and think, hold on, how do those two things even go together? Yeah, totally. Like it makes you want to know more, right? Like what's the connection there? Exactly. And the way he phrases it, no clear line, it's like he's saying they're all mixed up, intertwined somehow. That really adds to the intrigue, I think. Yeah, it's like, it's not just about fishing, it's about something deeper, more meaningful. Like you said, it makes you wonder. Right. Like, he's hinting that maybe for this family, fly fishing is a kind of religion in a way, or at least it's connected to their faith in some profound way. Yeah, yeah. And it's all happening within a family, right? In our family. What do you think that adds to the whole thing? Oh, that's so important. It immediately makes it personal. Like, we're being invited into this family's inner circle. We're not just getting some objective account of fly fishing or religion. We're getting their unique perspective, you know, well, their story. And the voice telling that story, the narrator, it's like someone looking back on their life. You know, <laughs> it's got that reflective quality to it. Exactly. It adds so much depth and authenticity. You feel like you're right there with the narrator, experiencing these memories alongside them. And that sets the stage for a story that's going to be about more than just events. It's going to be about the narrator's personal journey, their growth, their understanding of life. We've talked about a lot of opening lines, some amazing, some, well, not so much. Where does this one land for you on that scale of memorable first lines? For me. It's up there with the best, definitely. It's simple, it's elegant, but it's packed with meaning. And it really sets the tone for everything the novel explores. Totally. It's like in just one sentence, he gives you a glimpse into the whole story. You've got family, faith, nature, and that search for meaning. Absolutely. And it does it all in such a beautiful, poetic way. It's the kind of line that sticks with you, you know, long after you've finished the book. I couldn't agree more. It makes me want to go back and read it again just to experience that feeling again. Me too. It's a classic for a reason. So as you go about your day, listeners, think about that. Think about those things in your own life that have that kind of weight, that connect you to something bigger than yourself. Maybe it's not fly fishing, but maybe it's something else, something that feels almost sacred, something tied to family or tradition. Whatever it is, keep that in mind. And thanks for joining us on this deep dive. Always a pleasure.